In this video, we're going to be looking at adding and subtracting numbers written in standard form. Before we do that, let's have a look at a couple of questions. Can we add together 4x and 2x? Well, yes, we can. 4x plus 2x is 6x. And the way I like to think of this is that if I have four lots of x plus two lots of x, I get six lots of x. And we can think of that in the same way for this next one. If I've got four lots of 100 plus two lots of 100, how many lots of 100 do I have all together? Well, four lots of 100 plus two lots of 100 is six lots of 100. So that's what I've got. Now, how would this change if I had 4.1 lots of 100 and two lots of 100 being added together like this? What's the missing number here? Well, 4.1 plus two lots of 100. That would be 6.1 lots of 100. OK, let's get into the examples. Here's example A. I've got 4.1 times 10 to the power of 7, and I want to add that to 2 times 10 to the power of 7. Notice we've got the same powers of 10 in these numbers. 10 to the power of 7, 10 to the power of 7. What that means is I've got 4.1 lots of something plus two lots of the same thing. So how many lots of this thing do we have? Well, I've got 4.1 lots plus two lots. So that makes 6.1 lots of the thing, which in this case is 10 to the power of seven. So adding numbers in standard form is quite straightforward when you've got the same power of 10 in your numbers. Let's move on to question B. This time I am subtracting rather than adding, but the same principle applies. I've got the same power of 10, 10 to the power of 4 in this case, so I've got 6.4 lots of that minus 1.7 lots of that. So how many lots of 10 to the power of 4 have I got altogether? Well, it's 6.4 minus 1.7, and that works out to be 4.7, and remember that's how many lots of 10 to the power of 4 I've got. So there's our answer. Here's question C. I've got 4.5 times 10 to the negative 5 plus 4.5 times 10 to the negative 5. Again, I've got the same powers of 10, so that makes this easy to add. I've got 4.5 lots of that plus 4.5 lots of the same quantity. So 4.5 plus 4.5, that's 9, which means I've got 9 lots of 10 to the power of negative 5. And there's my answer. Here's question D. I need to work out 4.6 lots of 10 to the 6 minus 3.8 lots of 10 to the 6. Again, I've got the same power of 10, so that makes these easy to add or subtract. 4.6 lots minus 3.8 lots gives me 0.8 lots. So I have 0.8 lots of 10 to the 6. Now this is the correct value but we need to give our answer in standard form. This is not in standard form because this number here is less than 1. Remember, a number in standard form must have a number here that is at least 1 and less than 10. So what I need to do is multiply this number by 10. That would turn it into 8. But because I've multiplied this number by 10, I need to divide this number by 10 to compensate. So 10 to the power of 6 divided by 10 just gets me down to 10 to the power of 5. So this is equal to that, but now it's in standard form. Here's question E. I've got 5 times 10 to the power of 3 plus 6.3 times 10 to the power of 3. I've got the same power of 10, 
So that means I've got five lots of this plus 6.3 lots of this. So altogether, I've got 11.3 lots of 10 to the power of three. So that's the correct value, but this is not in standard form because in standard form, we need a number here that is between one and 10. It's got to be strictly less than 10. So 11.3 is too big. What I need to do is divide it by 10. Now to compensate, I need to multiply this power by 10. 10 to the power of three multiplied by 10 gives me 10 to the power of four. So now I've got a number here that is written in standard form correctly. Just to recap, what we did there was divide this one by 10 and multiply this by 10. Remember, 10 cubed is just 10 times 10 times 10. If we multiply that by 10 again, we end up with 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is 10 to the power of four. Here's question F. Pause the video and have a go at this one for yourself. Here's what you should have found. We've got 9.1 lots of 10 to the 12 plus 7.6 lots of the same thing. So that gives me 16.7 lots of 10 to the 12. Now that's not in standard form, so I need to divide this one by 10 to get it into the range one to 10. Now that's there. And then because I divided this by 10, I have to multiply this by 10 to compensate. And that gives me 10 to the power of 13 here.